Yeah, this is part two of I Hate Niggas. And I, I title it unapologetically, I Hate Niggas, right? Because there is a difference. And if you're African-American like me, first of all, to all the African-Americans who understand exactly what I'm saying, thank you. Thank you from this hellhole called New Orleans, right? If you, you know, to, to be African-American right now, and I know every, every generation of African-Americans thought that, were under the impression that the group that they're watching, the group that came behind them, is the worst shit that they've ever seen. I'm only sure when the, the progressives from the 1900s saw these crazy ass Negroes walking around in zoo suits and what was called the roaring 1920s. I'm more than sure that that particular generation felt the exact same way, that they're watching the worst <laughs> generation of African-Americans they've ever experienced. But, and I, and I know definitely the group that came in the 60s had to feel like the group of African-Americans that they were watching was the worst shit they had ever experienced. After doing all that marching for civil rights and all of that, just to have you niggas shaking your ass on Soul Train. I'm only sure that group of, of, of African Americans from Alabama State had to be like, what the actual fuck? But here we are. I think this has to be the worst, right? I don't think, I don't think this, I think this group of African Americans is so fucking horrible. I don't see us surviving into the next century. I think we're, we're really going to extinct because Oh, we're going to become relics, you know, race relics, where we're not, there's not enough of us to even complete a fucking censor, you know, a census report. So I, I, that's where I'm at, bro, is this disillusionment where I'm, I think too independently to be white. So I'm really stuck in the middle. Like, I can't be white. Because to be white means that some you got to agree with every fucking white person and all of them tell each other what to think. And if they don't agree, white people are like a bunch of 13 years old at a fucking lunch counter, a lunch table. They all got to agree. So I can't be white because I think too independently to be white. I don't want to be around niggas. And I'm, I'm not cutthroat enough to be Latino. So that just leaves me stuck somewhere in the fucking middle. And yesterday, I just want to want to say thank you guys because I realized that I'm not by myself, right? This disillusionment with our race, I'm not alone in that disillusionment. You know, it's not the it's not the crime that has me thinking this way. It's it's the people that are happily fucking ignorant. Like we have a group of people in New Orleans. These motherfuckers are happy to be ignorant. And I apologize, there's something right in my face. Like these bitches are proud to be ignorant. You know? I never seen anything like it. I, ne I just, I never seen anything like it. Don't want shit. You know? Just want to smoke weed all fucking day. And then they, if they can stay in a perpetual state of high, you know, it's this fucking drug culture. That's what I say. I don't relate. I don't like their music. You know, I don't like music about drugs. So therefore, if you're an Af if you're a progressive African American and you're in this city, you are really in a difficult spot because none of this shit makes sense to you. I come from a, a, a generation of, of people in New Orleans that I'm a Dutch Morial kid. You know, they keep the drive alive. I'm, I'm from the, the, the Dutch Morial, we're go, ain't no stopping us now, we're on the move. And then you get here with motherfuckers that are just happy to be stopped. And I'm like, I don't fit in anywhere. You know, so that's why I say you have to create your own town. If you're going to live in New Orleans, you have to create your own town within this town. Because if not, this motherfucker is Lebanon and Beirut and Gaza Strip all combined into one. The only difference is we're bombing ourselves. There ain't no Israel to bomb us. We bomb the fuck out of ourselves in this ragged ass city every day.